Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a Docker image, push into ECR, and then use an ECS Fargate to uh, launch this Docker image. I'm also going to use uh, application load balancer because with Fargate, uh, you, cannot, you don't have an EC2, so we have to use application load balancer. So let's get started. <clears throat> At first, um, let's go to the application. This is a simple Node.js application. Pretty simple with Express. If you visit this rootip page, you will get this message. So what I'm going to do is uh, create a Docker image out of it. So this is the Docker file. <laughs> Pretty simple and small. I'm going to push this Docker, create this Docker image and push into ECR. So this is a repository that I've created in ECR. If I click the view push commands, <clears throat> I have the uh, instructions here. So let's copy this, run it here. It will log in to the ECR. But before that, I have to, um, I have configured already AWS CLI with my access key and secret key. If you haven't done this, probably this login would not work with you. So please do that before running this command. Then I'm going to build the Docker image. And the next, I'm going to tag this Docker image. All these commands are available into these instructions. Just copy paste it. Then I'm going to push this Docker image into ECR. So now it is pushing my local image into ECR. So I close this and refresh this page. I should be able to see my image. That load is done. Based on your image size, the time can vary. I have used very slim Alpine uh, base image. So my size is only 24 megabytes. But if you use some more uh, heavyweight uh, base images, your time will take more. So uh, while it is uh, uploading, let's go to our ECS. So in the ECS, we have to create a cluster. Then we have to create a tax definition and then we need to create a service. So that, that service will also be linked with application load balancer. So quite a few things. First, create the cluster. It is uh, quite simple. In the cluster selection mode, use the network only because uh, we are going to use Fargate and Fargate requires this option. If you choose this, this will create an EC2 instance. This is for uh, EC2 with Windows. So we have to choose this option. <coughs> cluster name. So let's give it a name, Atik cluster. And that's it. <clears throat> we are not going to create a new VPC. We are just going to use the existing VPC. So that will be sufficient. Let's create this. It's pretty simple because when you use Fargate, you don't have, you don't need to manage any infrastructure. That, that's why the cluster creation process is very simple. So uh, now you need to go to tax definition and create a tax. So before that, I need to refresh the ECR repository to see if the image has been uploaded. Still not. Yeah, sometimes it takes time because due to network and other things. But I hope it will be done soon. This image URL is important for the tax definition because you are actually referencing that image in the tax definition. It's a kind of a like template that you define. So um, let me refresh now. It should be available now. Yeah, here it is. Now you need to copy the image URI. Just click here, it will be copied. Now go to tax definition and create a tax definition. In this screen, you need to choose the target one. So let's choose target. Give it a name. So I think task task role i'm not going to choose any role but if you wanted to choose then you can choose one that's up to you network mode aws vpc it is by default selected for far grid you don't have any option to choose here 
OS system, I'm going to choose Linux. And then uh, tax memory, like one GB and you see if you like one five. So it's up to you. You can play with it. Choose the one that fits your application. For our sample application, it should be fine. Container definition that is important. So give it a name like uh, Arctic container. And then the repository image, you have to choose it from the ECR. So you have to choose. You need to paste it here. Very really simple, right? Soft limit, it's up to you. 128. Port mapping, that's important because uh, this is the port that's running on your container. In my case, the port is, uh, it's given here, it's this part. So by default is port 80, unless we set in the environment variable. I haven't set anything in the environment variable, so it should run on port 80. So if it's running on port 3000, you have to choose port 3000. So that's, that's it. Click next. All other things you can keep as it is by default. You don't need to change anything unless you know that you have to change it. Create next. So our tax definition is created. Tax definition is pretty simple. It is just kind of like defining the template. It doesn't create any resources. So still we haven't created any resources. So we have created cluster. It, it's empty. We have defined tax but there is no task. So how shall we run our application? Okay, it needs to be done via services. So we need to create a service. But before that, we have to create application load balancer because your service requires an application load balancer. For example, if it's like EC2 based ECS, then you could just go to EC2 and copy the IP, public IP and use it. But for your, uh, Application load balancer, there is no EC2 instances. For Fargate, there is no EC2 instances. The instances or everything is managed via AWS. It's a kind of like serverless. So you have to use a load balancer to distribute traffic among the loads. So uh, let's go to uh, EC2, create load balancers. I'm going to create a new load balancer. Okay, so click here, create. <clears throat> and we'll give it a name, ALB1. It needs to be internet facing, IPv4. Okay, VPC, I'm going to choose the default one. And uh, this is just, I have to choose the two regions that is available, so two. Uh, submits that is available. Okay, then security group. I have, I have to select a default one, but you can choose yours once that's up to you. Now, I don't have any uh, target group created. Let's create one. It is quite chainy, so I, I started to create services, but then I go for load balancer, and now I am in target group. So, yeah, it is kind of intimidating. But let's see, target group name. So Arctic PG protocol 80 HTTP, all those things are okay. Create target group. Now let's refresh this page. You should be able to view our TG, here it is, that's okay. Now, uh, all looks okay, then create the load balancer. View the load balancer. The load balancer creation takes some time. So, uh, while it is being loaded, we can actually go to our uh, cluster and create a service. So now you will see why we have created load balancer earlier. So launch type, we have three options, but I'm going to choose target because that's our goal. Operating system Linux, task definition, attic tax, revision one, because this is the revision. If I create a new image and create a new revision, then I have to just use the different one. So platform version latest, cluster, of course, it needs to be the main cluster, service name. So give it a name, pick service. 
number of taxes, let's say two. It is the kind of like uh, pods that will be running number of taxes that's here. So we define tax definition and using the definition, now many taxes will be running at the same time. So <clears throat> there are different options like blue green rolling updates. I'm going to use the rolling updates because that's simple. Blue green is a bit complex, but that requires some different discussions. So uh, let's go there. And here we have to choose the VPC because we are going to use the, the default one. So that's okay. Subnets choose the ones that is required. Auto assign IP enable. That's okay. Health check grace period. Now I'm going to use load balancer, right? So uh, here you see we have load balancer and then the load balancer name auto came up. Container port. Now it is 8080. Now add to the load balancer. Okay. Evolution order. So give it a number. So that's it so far. Okay. Next. Auto scaling. I'm not going to do auto scaling now. It's quite uh, advanced. So that's not needed. But in advanced scenarios, when you have like uh, multiple taxes are running and you wanted to scale up automatically when you have a certain load generated also scale down when there is no users in your application but ours one is pretty simple and i'm the only person who's using so i don't need to scaling at this moment let's go to the next review all those things looks good create service view services okay let's go to the cluster is our service to desired taxes running taxes zero if i go to the tax area i should be able that there is a tax created so this is the tax is being created and from the template that you have defined i think tax so that is running now now let's go to the load balancer let's see if we have our load balancer up and running it is also green now copy the dns name of the load balancer Okay, and go to that. Service temporary unavailable. Okay, so there is something wrong in the listeners. This happens. Don't worry, don't panic because it is just being started. Okay, maybe let's edit the listener and let's see what we have here. Let's remove one and put it to. Okay. So uh, even though we have created our own target group, but ECS is already created while we have created the service. So actually we need to use that one. That is the actual target group that we need to use, but that's not available when you create the service. It's a, it's a kind of like irony that I have to create this target group then I need to replace that with the one that has been auto-generated. So that's okay. Now, maybe it should be working fine now, right? Let's do some refreshing. Copy the DNS. Go to the, yeah, there it is, you see? Now it's up and running. Couple of things to note that uh, you have to create, uh, you need to push the uh, image to the Elastic uh, ECR first. You need to then create the cluster. Then you need to create the tax definition. After that, you have to create service, but before that, <laughs> you need to create a load balancer. That is the load balancer. You have to create, while you are creating load balancer, you have to create a target group. And then you need to use that and it is that in the services section. So if you have followed all my instructions according to the same uh, ordering, you should be able to run your applications here. Now, if you have created a new image, let's say I need to create a new one. What I'm going to do is just, just build 
then uh, tag i will tag a new version so let's say its version is v2 and then i'm going to push so v2 if you push this it will create a new image into ecr with the name v2 let's see it shouldn't take that much time because we have already the base images here yeah here it is the v2 copy the v2 go to the tax definitions um, Click here. Let's go to the tax definitions and create a new version. Yeah. Here it is. Everything is all it was. Just we have to delete this part and add a new container. This is the image. The name V2 128 container mapping 80. So that's it. Create. Okay, we have created revision two. Now let's go to the clusters and go to the service, update the service. Here we have created a new revision that should be available here. It is two and then all is good. Just update the service. Okay, let's go back. So here it is. Oh, we have to change that part as well. Then can I okay? Let's create a new service then. That will be more simpler for me. Create a new service, target the big tax latest revision service name S2, number of taxes one, and create. Revision load balancer. Okay. Yeah, I have created a new service. Okay. Now go to the cluster and delete the old service that was previously created. Just delete me. Okay. Now, uh, if I go to my listeners, I have to update the listener because there's a new service has been created. Let's see. Forward. I think service C is two, service two, that's okay. Save changes. And if I now refresh, I should see a different message. While it is, yeah, there it is. So, uh, you see, we have updated all those things and there are different options, uh, choices we can make to automate the process. So I will show you how you can automate this with code build and code pipeline. Thank you for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I will appreciate and create more videos. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.